Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about QNAP NAS and how to install Kodi version 18, that's codename Layer, on your QNAP NAS. Now it's worth mentioning a few things straight off the bat. First and foremost, QNAP do not officially endorse the installation of Kodi on their devices. In fact, for a long time they actually had the Kodi application in their app center but have removed it for different licensing disagreements and because Kodi unfortunately is more and more being utilized by some certain dodgy individuals. So hopefully you're not one of those when you found this video. But nevertheless, another thing I want to highlight is the fact that during the course of this video, you may notice QBot over here freaking out about memory utilization. That is because of this NAS, I'm installing a whole host of applications for another video in the background. And consequently, this device, which has two gig of DDR3 memory, this is a TS251B, will show occasionally memory height a uh, heightened memory utilization. Don't worry, that's nothing to do with the applications we're installing today and nothing to do with the way that you're going to utilize your NAS. This is just my NAS freaking out because I'm utilizing way, way too much memory to install loads and loads of applications. So, here is how we install Kodi on our NAS. First and foremost, you will have to make sure you're utilizing a QNAP NAS that has an HDMI port. That's because it will allow you to install the hybrid desk station application. Do make sure you've got that installed and once you've got the hybrid desk station application installed and if you don't know if you can go to the control panel and from there scroll to the bottom you'll see an option called hybrid desk station and if you can install HD station this option will appear. You click enable and it will install the hybrid desk station application and invite you to install a host of other applications too. But I digress. From the user interface via the web browser, go to the app center here. And once the app center is loaded up with all those lovely apps that you have or have not installed, head up to the, in, uh, the cog up here and it will ask you if you are okay with installing um, apps that do not have a valid digital signature. That is apps that QNAP themselves have signed off. Once you click tick there and click apply, you can then head over to the app repository and then from there click add. Now in this window, I need you to uh, type QNAP club and then after that in the URL, type this, https colon slash slash www.qnapclub dot eu slash en slash repo dot xml now you can install just the qnap club app but the reason we're installing this is this is a whole separate app center and i have done a whole video on this already but once you've added that url into that bar click add then click close then on the left hand side of the screen a new button will appear this says qnap club go into that app there click all apps and then after that click refresh it may show some apps but I do recommend that you click refresh nonetheless this will give you access to a whole host of unofficial applications and unsupported applications officially but of course the one we want is Kodi and there we go you've got two versions of Kodi readily available and the one that we're interested in is Kodi version 18.4. From here, we click install, and this will once again warn us that this application is a non-official, non-QNAP signed app. We click we agree, and then click install. And this will now install the Kodi version 18, codenamed layer application onto our NAS. Now, once again, make sure you've got all your data pre-installed before to undertaking this um, this enterprise because as it's an unofficial app you still don't know how well your NAS is going to work with it. I've used Kodi on a QNAP NAS for a number of years and I've had no problems so far but you never know what's going to happen so make sure you've got the data on your NAS backed up suitably, suitably as you should anyway before installing unofficial applications. Now while that installs that in the background if we go back over here, we can have a look at all the other applications that are readily available here. Now, for those of you that enjoy media on your NAS, but want to go to some of the streaming platforms, you'll be pleased to hear that platforms such as Amazon Music, such as Netflix and more, are readily available via this user interface, with most of these applications connecting 
with HD station and with hybrid desk station here allowing us to install loads of unofficial applications there are there's a lot of room for you to migrate with streaming platforms on your QNAP NAS and in some cases download media from them just do me a favor and stay legal now let's see how our application installation is holding up let's make our way back to that Kodi app go there again and it's almost done now while it's doing this and installing this application what we should do is make our way over to HD station and HD station is the HDMI user interface of our QNAP NAS now a lot of you may or may not be aware that even though HD station is an um, HDMI output app you can access the HDMI interface over the network if you go into the settings menu you can then enable remote desktop and this will allow you to access the HDMI user interface via your network so if ever you need to create changes or make updates to your HD station and HDMI user interface as well as to click some of the options which may be easier from a desktop you can do it from this interface and there are loads of options to flick through too so let's go back and see how well our Kodi installation is happening and it's still happening there in the background it's downloaded the app but what I'm going to do now is fast forward to the completion of this installation right so our Kodi application is now fully installed and if we click open we can see some of the background information there but let's face it what we really want to see is Kodi itself now if you are connected via HDMI port this is what you will see on your TV or visual device you can utilize a free application from QNAP that's available for your mobile phones to work as a remote control over the network or alternatively you can utilize the official infrared remote control that QNAP supply what we need to do is make our way down to the Kodi app installed here we click on it and it will boot Kodi now if you want there are settings here in the QNAP zone user interface and structure that allow you to directly boot into Kodi by default what that means is if you've got the NAS in your front room it will always boot directly into Kodi for your TV even when the NAS is in the background and it won't go into idle which can be very very handy for a number of us that have a NAS in a living room or in a local area next to a TV and this is Kodi version 18.4 code name layer on a QNAP NAS we've got it installed there in the background I've got no media on it right now but it will all play and anyone that's ever used Kodi before will be well aware of this setup now I am using the popular screen recording software OBS so there is going to be a drop in um, response time of what I'm showing you here on screen but there are of course other user interfaces available and this version of Kodi will also take advantage of the network and internet connection for things like subtitles and themes so if we want we can make our way into the display section here and change some of those uh, settings because a number of us are used to the previous design of the Kodi XBMC layout so if we go to the display there or we have a look at some of the options with regards to themes we can then change it to something that we're a little bit more familiar with and we can go down there and change some of these options but again this is Kodi in exactly the same way we remember it and ultimately this has been how to install Kodi on your NAS system although you do need to have uh, HDMI enabled NAS in order to take advantage of this it's still great to know that we can utilize Kodi as much as we want so let's have a look at changing that user interface shall we let's have a quick look here we want it into there let's see if we can change that theme would you Adam and Eve it I can't remember how to do it but I'm sure you'll remember and they've got lots of um, videos on that too let's have a look here there we go finally and let's see if we've got that old familiar skin that we know so well we can go to click more go down if anyone can remember the name I'm sure I think it's confluence let's have a look and we can install our new theme as easy as that and we're installing it installing the add-on skin is downloading the video could probably stop by now but I'm not going to I'm gonna let this install itself and there you go we'd like to keep this change and there you go that is the 
Cody interface that let's face it, we all know and love. But this has been Cody on a QNAP NAS, an unofficial installation. And remember to check out the other applications in that unofficial app center because there's a lot to choose from and a lot of ways to take advantage of your system. But I will see you guys next time. Click, click, and click like and subscribe to learn more. And I'll see you guys next time.